to remind ourselves. The atomic number of an atom is equal to the number of protons in its nucleus. The number of electrons orbiting the nucleus is balanced by the number of protons. In the atoms of elements common to life, the number of neutrons and protons in the atomic nucleus is the same. The mass of atoms is the sum of the masses of protons plus neutrons at one Dalton each. At only one two thousandth of a Dalton each, electrons don't contribute much to atomic mass and so generally are not included in the atomic mass number until you get to the higher elements. We use the convention shown here in the carbon and hydrogen examples to indicate the element by its symbol, its atomic number, the left subscript, and mass, the left superscript. To understand how the energy and location of electrons in atoms and molecules explains their chemical properties, we model atoms in two ways. The shell model shown here emphasizes the potential and kinetic energy of electrons. The further from the nucleus, the faster the electrons move. The orbital model emphasizes the space occupied by electrons around the nucleus. Each orbital can contain zero or one or two electrons. So you might recall that more than one orbital may contain electrons at the same energy level. In this illustration, electrons are shared between atoms in these covalent compounds in orbitals that give the molecules their shapes. The space filling models along the bottom of the slide emphasize the different molecular shapes. Note that in methane, CH4, the four unpaired electrons in four orbitals around the carbon atom are being shared with electrons from each of the hydrogens. This forms a shape, the tetrahedron, outlined as a three-sided pyramid in the illustration. Only carbon can form this shape, and then only when it shares its four electrons with four other atoms or chemical groups. Here's a part of the periodic table which organizes the elements in order of atomic number in rows and of mass in columns. The colored elements are found in human cells. The pink ones are the most abundant, but all of the others, except possibly the uh, yellow ones, are also important. Some, like phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, zinc, magnesium, and manganese, although present in only trace amounts, are in fact crucial to life. The number of unpaired electrons in an atom's outer shell, or its valence, determines the chemical reactivity of the element. The valences of the elements used by cells range from 1 to 4. At the far right you can see the noble gases, which have no unpaired electrons, and so have a valence of 0.